Hi guys! I hope so all of you are well. Uh, some of you are my crafty students, which I'm very happy and thank you for being there. Uh, yeah, I feel like you know, I can share my knowledge, so it makes me very, very happy. Uh, these days uh, there are many druzy jewelry, so many of you were asking me for some tutorials how to make post earrings. I'm going to show you how to make the uh, post earrings using druzy uh, stones. Since uh, we are going to use 20 gauge wire, which is pretty, this is gold field, it's a half heart wire. Uh, however, it's pretty stiff. I am going to cut with uh, slightly thicker cutters, Tronix, and this is model, I could use actually a couple of them, but this is mo model 7513 and this one is 7113. Uh, so those are designed to cut sharp, but, uh, but as well you can cut heavier wires. Uh, I would really not suggest to use the 20 gauge, uh, the, the soft cutters from Tronix, which are 5082 or 5223 or another one 7222 which has a longer handle versus the 5223 has a shorter handle. So let's, let's make some jewelry, let's make a post earrings like those, very interesting and I like them, very easy. To make and after this video I want to see pictures of your beautiful post earrings all right so what we need for this project not not so many supplies so you need um, some druzy stones and I have a couple of them uh, either black I, I have copper gold and another copper but oval shape this is very interesting shape, new. This is good also for rings, actually. This is a nice shape for earrings. As I mentioned, the silver one, which was like the first pair of, uh, of earrings which I made. And those two are very pretty. Unfortunately, this, those, they do not have holes. So at the end of the class, I'm going to show you what, what you can do with them. But these are cabochons and if you know how to solder, how to make basil around it, this is the best, that's the, that's the stone to use. Yeah, I, I fortunately the purplish they do not and the white as well. The white is very pretty, this is actually great with, this could be a great project with um, these basils. Yeah, I'm going to show you, uh, show you some designs what I would do later on. So I'm going to take the... Maybe let's use the silver one, why not? And since it's a silver, a gold, it's not the best color. Most probably silver would be better, but since I have already paired with silver wire, I'm going to use the gold one and you guys will see much better because it will be nice contrast. So how much of a wire do we need? Approximately a, f a foot for each... Uh, Mm, for each earring however I'm sure that you will need less than that so if you want it you can cut approximately a one foot and knowing yeah I believe this is a foot I'm cutting with the Tronics the 7513 so they are sharp um, and another tool which I'm going to use are chain nose pliers and here is a here a pair of Chainos pliers as well, Tronix, and I've been using those. This is 515. What I like about them, they have very fine tip. Here's another pair from Tronix, and this one is 511, this is 515, so they're pretty close. However, if you look at them, this is much, much wider than this. So this was very fine, and you will see how useful it is to have the fine end tip. And this is also useful if you work with slightly bigger uh, pieces of jewelry, that's that's useful. Or chain mail, it will be uh, great. For chain mail, most probably you guys use the um, bended nose pliers. Why? Why? Because when you use opening jump rings, the bended part helps you to open nicely. 
So the the bandit one is five five one, and there is another one which it's five five two. So the difference again, you see, this is finer, this is slightly thicker. Um, I always repeat this with um, with all my students, especially the one which just starting. Uh, drawing making, how important it is to pick up uh, the correct pair of pliers and how important it is to stay away from pliers which are black inside, they are not smooth. Uh, usually, unfortunately, the, the, the least expensive ones are the black ones. Why is that? Uh, because if the, the, the weak, uh, the bad quality pliers are uh, rough on your finger if you run it, they will be rough on your wire. It's not going to happen with slightly more uh, expensive uh, pliers and also electronics, definitely not. But even if you buy electronic tools, you you just run your finger and see how is the inside, how how it looks like if it's not rough, if it's smooth, and especially the black color ones uh, inside, they do tend to be kind of rough. Okay. But it's your your really choice what you which one you're using. So I'm using the fine ones. I'm putting the other chain of pliers. So now I just need two pair of pliers, piece of wire, 20 gauge wire again, and two cabochons. I'm going to choose uh, slightly closer. Hold on. There you go. These two have more of the truth. This is less of it, but here. And now what you're going to do, you're going to string your bead onto the wire, now leaving approximately one inch from the end and then there's a longer tail. And then the next step is just hold it, maybe slightly less than that. Here, hold it and wrap gently the wire around the cabochon. One more time, around it as tight as possible and now you see the top I'm going to wrap this here make sure that your wire is always straight so you won't see any kinks and bends and now bringing the wire one more time around it since it's a 20 gauge wire it really stays around the bead you can go behind or if you have room you can go up front, I'm going to do behind because there's one already wire front. There you go. Once you reach to the top, you make a nice wrap on the top here twice. Make sure again that your wire is, sits there and now it's time to cut. So every time you cut, don't cut up front in the in, on the on the front part of the earrings, but cut in the back. So bring the wire back, the wire into the back, push it down, and now you see how sharp and how uh, fine the edges. So you can just really cut as close as possible the longer post, making sure that you cut only one wire, please. <laughs> there you go. See, this is what we have left. So it's less than a, it's approximately two and a half inches. So if I cut 12 inches so we we need approximately nine inches nine and a half inches uh, of wire almost ready the only thing which i'm going to see how the coils are not next to each other i'm going to bring them as close as possible to each other and bend this part so just take your chain of pliers and bend it here you are we have a post earring, right? Making sure that it's nice and straight. Now, how much to cut? That this is way too much. This is almost an inch. So, yeah, I usually cut like half an inch. You can trim it. This piece, it's a waste actually, unfortunately. But uh, this is our post, and then the only thing which is needed for that is the back of, of the post here. Here you are, it's the first piece. Now, if you feel like, you know, the coils, they are not touching each other, you can push them together. 
okay? And everything, if you feel like you want more wraps than one, you can wrap twice or, uh, or two, three times. This is twice, but you can do three times. If you feel like this is not like strong enough, and if it's, let's say, 20 gauge, but that's soft, uh, gold field wire take a hammer and bench block and just hammer it make it harder okay I would not use this and do it with 16 18 gauge wire because this part needs to go through your peers so basically might be too too thick okay but the 20 half heart or even heart it will be easy to work so we have one uh, post earring I'm going to cut another piece of wire here it is, another, okay, I'm going to cut slightly less, so 9 inches, there you go, slightly less, and again I have the second trusy bead, and bend this up, see, let's bend it up, this is the back side, Go around one more time up so it's up as tight as possible and now I would I could go one more time but actually it's not going to keep well the uh, the wire so I'm going to just wrap it and one more time this way. And now I'm going to just wrap it one and a half, twice, and with the Tronax cutters cut as close as possible to the post. Good. If you want to push those two coils closer to each other, do it. We have a nice um, post, the last step, and you all now know, is just bending the wire. And now to cut exactly the same length, so you don't have to measure, just put two of them together and trim it. There you go. See how sharp? If this is kind of th uh, sharp, just take a file and file it down, okay? And now one, and then here is a second back. If this needs to be brought closer, that's it. Yes, here we are. We have a pair of post uh, druzy earrings, gold filled 20 gauge wire. All right, this is the, the basic ones. Next class, we are going to talk about uh, how to make a necklace and how to use another uh, pliers and thinner wire and some chain.